<laughs> so bye, Bowel uh, Movements. Hi. <laughs> I, I, I don't hey, know everybody. It's hard because everything to see myself is there. Yeah, I know. Well, everybody, I... we are live. We have a Giggles. He's a champion. I, I don't hey, know. everybody. It's hard so you'll be and soon, we hope, there. Yeah, by I October or maybe a little later. Well, he'll be a national champion. We, live. we have a uh, Giggles. Oh, He's we'll a champion. Bow the more Giggles. I'd love it. But we do. What? Oh, good. Now I can look over there. No, it's on a time delay. Well, I know it's on a time delay, but at least I can, you know, feel like I'm looking at what I need to look at. Okay. (laughs) Hey, everybody. Once again. Okay. So. Yeah, I've got it muted. Oh, we can hear you. All right. Well, oh, I just realized your headphones are there. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good job. So can you hear me now? Am I yes. hearable now? And we got to spend a few seconds to see if they can hear them, though. Oh. While we're uh, waiting to see if people can hear, this is a giggles. He won the Rochester PTC this weekend. All right, he heard you. Yeah. All right, so I am going to have to do push to talk, but this is actually going to be better for everybody. That means there's just another preventative measure from us talking over each other. But yes, go ahead. <laughs> giggles. Yes. What did you play in the Rochester PTC? Uh, well, I played I played Ryu. Uh, it was a deck that uh, I played before, and uh, and Hughes here helped yeah. m- to uh, modify it with some of the new stuff. Turns and... out that uh, Templar's uh, justice attack, the three for three, that gets bigger if the first one hits, pretty good. Yeah, especially when they don't want to usually block like two damage. And then Art of Sapphires is, we'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> I love that card. All right. I hate it at the same time. So let's talk about your deck real quick. You were playing the All Ryu Encellus Zing combo deck of doom. Yeah. Uh, like I said, you did pilot to set the Poughkeepsie PTC to a fourth place finish, if I remember correctly. Yep. Uh, and with the, so let's do this. What were the new cards? That were in your deck. What were you uh, playing from 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 uh, World of Indians? Uh, well, from World of Indians, we had uh, Artifice Avarice, uh, Templar's Justice. Uh, we also had what was it? Secret. Oh, what's it called? The the committed character thing. What's it called? Secret Plan or uh, Secret History? Secret His. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had Secret History, but it didn't really come into play in any of the games since most of the characters I play against. Yeah. Either could play their stuff uh, committed or whatnot. All oh, right, and there was a uh, admonition, which uh, was just a great uh, uh, spam foundation, a six check, and had at least a plus one mid block uh, for to help to mitigate some damage. All oh, right, armor expert um, again though didn't end up doing a whole lot. I, I tossed it in at the last second as an experiment. Hmm. Uh, it was meant for late game, which you yeah. never really got into. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if anything, it was just like a low... It was a nice yeah. additional low block. Yeah, it was a low block, and uh, I had put it in there for, like, you get into this situation with a long game where you have to play an Artifice Avarice, mm-hmm. and then you can E, put it on top, uh, and then uh, get its effect off. Yeah. Uh, but, y- yeah... Uh, I thought there was something. Was there any, I don't think there was anything else. No, that was set. it. Yeah. The big things were Artifice Avarice, Admission, yeah. and Templar's Justice. Yeah. You, went, Avarice, uh, you went 7 and 1 in rounds on the weekend? You only had one loss? Uh, yeah, my only loss was to uh, a local player, Sonic, uh, and his Natali deck. Uh, yeah. uh, and he got 5th, but got diversified out by uh, Slam. Uh, he did pretty well. Yes, yeah. Sonic's only loss the entire day was to the, the champion. No, no, no. My only loss was to Sonic. 
Sonic's only loss was also to you. Sonic's like, Sonic didn't lose to me. Right. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm derping out. <laughs> Long day. Oh, All right. you. Well, let's take a minute. Let's uh, take a look at the other decks that made the top eight. Uh, we had Kevin Brober came in second place. He is still the point leaders for player of the year. He's got a seven-point lead currently on uh, a surprise entry at the Rochester 2K, Miles Tyler. Uh, Kevin played Air Felicia. Uh, not really much to say about this deck. It's Air Felicia. <laughs> it's just a stock build. It's stock. It's there. It's a deck. Uh, third place. The other Broberg, Ben Broberg, played Air Runica. That was, uh, this, that this, was a deck to play against. Now, Ben's deck played a lot of new cards uh, and really was trying to use, like, just maximize Runica's efficiency, uh, playing assassination attempts, a bunch of different uh, momentum cost effects, just lots of damage coming out of that deck. Also lots of shield rams. Lots yeah, of go off of Udstad Beam and uh, Hurricane Upper. Mm-hmm. Like, dear God, the number of times I see him just go, like, all right, and, like, here, here's, like, six damage, like, three times in a row. Oh. Yeah. Uh, fourth place, we had Miles Tyler. Uh, that is no joke. Miles Tyler, Danielle, and EJ Mary traveled a very long distance uh, to our event. They drove. I thought it was a great surprise to see. I was very happy to see them. I almost got run over when they showed up. Did you really? I really like I had been walking in right as they pulled in, and we had literally minutes before been making the joke about how they wouldn't show up because of the distance. (laughs) And he's just like waving at me and driving right up to me. (laughs) Well, why are we surprised? Why are you guys surprised? I mean, he's a professional UFS player now. He needs to be coming to every single event. He's never come to us, has he? No. No. But now that he's a professional UFS player, and I'm going to run this joke into the ground, I love Miles to death. Let it never be said that we in the community do not all love each other. We will never say anything horrible or hateful about each other, except for the fact that I have gained horrible amounts of weight over the past two years, because I got fat. But (laughs) we love Miles. It's just, I'm going to drill this professional thing into the ground, because it's such a piece. That's right. (laughs) No. Uh... So we have Miles in four plays playing, obviously, all Terry, one dot. Uh, that deck of evilness. Uh, fifth place, AJ Murray playing Life Pharaoh Man. And I want to say one thing about this deck. He was playing four Kablamo. Uh, apparently, I was his only loss that whole weekend. That's true. Twice. Giggles beat twice. him twice. <laughs> Giggles so, beat him in rounds and in the, and in the, top, and the top eight. When I uh, came back to watch the event a bit during my break, uh, I watched him playing against AJ and watched AJ use Paraman's ability to have him make a check. Giggles checked an Artifice Avarice and then drew a Templar. Just, just yep. saying that. It, well, funny but, enough, it, his, him making me do checks also made me, ch- in game one of the day, uh, on the, on the uh, Swiss... I even did that. Well, I didn't get a Templar, but I got a block off of one of his checks because he made me oh, check Art Savarus and I drew a card. Oh. But yeah, he was playing Kablamo and watching it. Like, yeah, I watched him play a match where he went Kablamo, pop unquestionable loyalty to put two cards face down in the carpool, multiple to Kablamo to lock both of the face downs, stun three his opponent. <laughs> And then, like, seven damage. Like, them both seven damage. It was like, okay, this game, this is hilarious. I need to actively read this card. Yeah, he yeah. never got any of this off on me. He gave, he both, uh, like, he usually che- checked them when building, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not a good thing to do. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, sixth place, we had Brett Blaze playing Air Robert. Uh, all of the ki- air kicks, all of the evilness of air kicks, right there in front of you. Playing the uh, Italian so- stallion, very nice. Yeah. Uh, seventh place, we had our very own Mark Wazowski, uh, playing Evil Natali Two Dot. This is the deck that 
kind of everybody thought about from the two from uh, after World of Indians came out, but no one ever. I, only like some people started jumping on it, and like this deck off two different symbols was in the top A before diversity. So this yeah. was the free Dragon Flame deck. No, this is Dragon yeah. Flare. This yeah, has Dragon, Dragon Flare. Flare. Yeah, Dragon Flare. Yep. Excuse me, but this wasn't is the... he also a Swiss champ. Yeah, yep, he was also a Swiss champ. He he went down to Ben Broberg because. Because <laughs> Rudica does one thing very well, removing uh, pennant guard. <laughs> yeah. Also of note, his was the only deck in top eight not running Summer Heat. True. There were twenty eight copies of Summer Heat total in the top eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So something you might want to think about, <laughs> Jasco Games. Mm. Oh, even I think that card's stupid, and I played it. Well, that's actually mm-hmm. one of the reasons I did play it. I, yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, and like... last, in eighth place, we had uh, Scott J- Dejarnet. Dejarnet. Yep. Yeah. Dejarnet. Uh, playing a well, it really is a multi-symbol Takuma deck. Uh, it's predominantly air based, but there was definitely or there was definitely some order off symboling. Really? Uh, yeah. There's a, a few cards that just because he had so many air order. He could chain off properly. Oh. Uh, but yeah, this deck, I watched this deck just blow some people out of out of the water. And it was really cool. Because Scott, Scott has been, came to the Fort Rochester. I met him at the Rochester PTC last year. And he played like a Proto Man deck. And he was kind of feeling the game. Came to the, the la- all the PTCs I've, I've seen him on, you know, on the East Coast. And then he showed up to Rochester, and he finally—he just—he finally found a deck that clicks with him, and it's good for him. Like he was playing mature at one point; he used to play a bunch of different stuff. So it's good to find a deck that he did well with, and he was able to find be well positioned. Like the cutoff at this point, there was seven points was the cutoff for yeah. for top eight, and that was a there was a stretch for seven points at the end. All right, oh, yeah, so it was a great this- event. 20 people uh, right on the dot for the payout for the prizes. Mm. No complaints there. The giggles. Yeah. What was your favorite round of the day? Uh, do you mean of the Swiss rounds? Oh, the oh. entire. I really say one of my favorites was still, I think, uh, my match with uh, Ben uh, in, the fi- in the finals. Uh, because it was actually just a really good, nice, close game. Like, neither of like we like game one and two we both went down to single digits for vitality uh uh, the final game i went down to like uh 10 and there was overall just like close moments in like both games where it could have gone just either way and Mm -hmm. uh it's just really fun uh what about your match against sonic oh God, I, I that was lost. that was a, I just couldn't believe when when I saw him actually throw that out. I was like, crap! I forgot he was talking about playing this. And I just kept like two momentum here. Yeah. There's four damage, and uh, I, I don't know if I could, could have actually come back on that. No, wait. He said he had the moves on that. Uh, he just had the 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 just random explosiveness to just get there with everything like there was one there was one of the games where if he just checked like a i think less than a five he couldn't have actually killed me but yeah he so he was doing really good that day question for you yeah um there's a chance there's a chance that when battle for power comes out rotation will finally happen uh, no it will happen. first red horizon set the first red horizon set rotates when battle for power comes out that has been confirmed Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so, originally last night, when Slam was on the other show, uh, he was just like, oh, she's going to cycle. She'll be fine. But then he found out that she's in... And he remembered that she's in Tides. And he snapped said, no, ban her. Do you think Natalia needs to be banned? Because it's her ability to just snap, put down things like Dragon Flare oh. on potentially turn one if you're going second. I watched Slam do it a few times. So, I don't know, because um, at the same time, it's like yes, she has the ability to do that, but 
I mean, that's a, first of all, that's assuming they're going second. But still, and... even that on turn two. Without needing to commit anything other than the character. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's really tough because, I mean, there's still chances like that. But, like, I could have had, like, I never had, uh, uh, whenever anyone did that, like, a champion Muay Thai uh, to be able to just put it to, like, one speed and then maybe just block it. Um, and, but then again, the thing has stung too. Um, yeah. Card is very powerful. Being able to play it for basically for free, literally for free, basically. Uh, like, I personally am unsure. Yeah, I, because I, I haven't gotten to play against it all yet. I'm actually looking forward to Sonic trouncing us tomorrow. He's I mean, not going to trounce it's me. Bit, it, it's it's leaning towards maybe. Play midnight polar time. warps. I'm not losing. I'm, I will find every way to not die to being self destructed out of a game. Oh wait a minute! You've got <laughs> things like dodge that's around. Dodge. <laughs> yeah. I played dodge. I, I I played a chaos control deck. I am not going to get burned out today. Uh, yeah, I was going <laughs> to say it's like it's. Yeah, yes, it, it's. I mean, if anything, the card just allows her to be viable. I think, uh, not not to be like, not for her to be yeah. just overpowered. Which is basically what I said. Yeah, yeah. like because there's ways around. It. I mean, like Ben was running dodge. That kind of shut me down several times because it was just like, oh, bounce this. And uh, I think the big question is, is if there are other attacks like Dragon Flare that are huge difficulty with huge effect. That, that are on symbol with her. That would be the question. If there's more things to go with Dragon Flare that are as powerful that could make her even more powerful, I would say then there's a problem. <laughs> like, I, I, if there's something, if there's more things on par with Dragon Flare where you can just be like, who cares whatever else I do? I'll just build and throw a free move that's like really ridiculous. Uh, then yeah, well, there's a, there's a problem, especially also when she has an asset that. If they want it, if they want to, they can do it twice. Yep. All right. You guys got questions? More questions for him? I'm good. No, I'm good. I mean, we, Anything we else you want to share about the event? Uh, I came in last place. Did you really? <laughs> I thought I, I came in last place. Jeez. I, I think I, I came in the two last a, place. I, I will say what 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 put me in the I gave up mode. So round three, I'm playing against. Uh, Daniel Tyler playing Yellow Devil Life. Game one, I got the board game more or less under control. I'm safe. I know what's going on. Game so game two, play my first reversal. Soul trapped. I'm like, okay, fine. I expected this. <laughs> went to the next fat went to my turn, did a few pokes, pass back. Block reversal again. Soul trapped. Okay. Got two. She checks the third one. I'm like, all right, what are the possibilities she's using four of her cyborg cards? Because I'd seen her whole deck from a cycle out, so she did not play any main. I'm like, what are the chances she's playing four? Very low. I'm, I'm just going to go in. I'm like, block her splat, soul trap. And I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> go home. Hey, go home. Do not and then I, I, did it, I put myself on tilt, then I let her make a fake, a pretty much an unnecessary, an unneeded, like, draw effect go off, which I decided to cut red-handed when I know she's playing Nomai, and I should have, if I left the no the card up, I would have stopped the Nomai ability, and I would have just been fine. I mean, we talked a great, Ugh. great extent about how dangerous that Soul Trap is against reversals. Oh, oh it, it's, it's so, so free. free. Yeah. If, if you, you are, are playing, playing any of those three symbols... symbols and you feel the reversals might be an issue, put two in your board. Maybe three. Let me tell you, you will just kill their decks cold. I mean, I mean, when you just flat out cancel and remove uh, a, a reversal, and then just get a free attack. Yeah. Like, I thought the other one that was like... like it's like it's just so stupid. Like, yeah, you're playing the attack on your turn, but you're just like you could you negated their card. You're like, this is gone. Bye. Okay. Yeah, like the like, dimension. At least the other, like... at least like the Kadath card that the Kadath card that does it puts it back in your hand, so you get to use it later. And the person has to also pitch an attack for that ability too. Yeah, but they have to make a check on that card. That's <laughs> the one thing. They have to so make a check. They had, so, so they, they had to do a lot more to do less. 
yeah. than yeah. this other card. I can't wait for what to mention Dorian Bush, but playing it with Death's Man. Making it eight damage and more stun. Can you, can you stand up so I can kick you in your balls? Nope. All right. All right. So that's what's, what we're done with the Twitter report. Uh, next thing. Rules changes slash clarifications slash stuff like that. Which is I think I heard about one of these. What, let's run through it real quick. It's real simple. Well, it's not. No, it's not. It's not it's, simple at all. It's not simple at all. Let's start with it the sounds stuff. simple, and then you figure out all the things that actually unraveled. Okay, so let's start with the simple ones. Multiple and powerful have both been uh, reworded specifically so that you can use replacement effects, such as uh, Eldrift uh, Key and uh, Assassination Attempt. attempt. To be able to use the ability. The ability works properly. It was more just a hand wave before all these effects worked. Yeah. And now, now it's, it's there. It actually does. And the whole thing started because of the uh, the, the requo. <laughs> it's yeah. like, because of this, all this became made aware. So maybe they have to change this so all this works properly. But the other thing that got changed is the attachment zone. So uh, the attachment zone is no longer this magical zone of uh, protection where, none of, where anything in the that zone cannot be touched. Um, if a card goes to the attachment zone, it's attached to the card it's it listed to be with. Um, the thing dings now, you can destroy cards in the attachment zone. By, they can be destroyed by effects and targeted. They can be self-destructed. Uh, the other you can't big use thi- them to pay costs, though. You can't use them to pay costs. That is true. But they can be affected. Um, they also count towards... All the cards that say if you have 10 or more foundations or whatnot. If you have uh, face down attachment cards, they are technically face down foundations and they count towards it. Um, Another thing you. uh, Oh, I was sure. Maybe he's going to say it here. Sorry. The other thing you want to make sure you're aware is if the card that is committed, that's like the the host card or the mother card, we're kind of quoting it as, is committed, the other cards have connected. Don't, that are attached don't yeah, have they're attached. considered so, attached. so if runica is committed the battle fists are all committed too yep so uh, you, and the reason why they did that is they also added stacked characters to the attachment zone yep so they had to add in that line oh uh, but so. do they re- did they realize that that changes how some of those other cards now work with these characters we don't know because like I, I remember. I, mean, you, I, I, remember I know there's extended out. cards where this is going to matter too, and they will have to be looked at once ex- if we ever come back to extended. Yeah. Well, I know you pointed out that, that like now, if Runica R commits, see she uh, when yeah, when not only is her fist, damage pump turned off, but her uh, her battle ability fist. to activate battle fists are turned off. Yeah, which is a huge cost. I mean, it really it limits it. Like it, it it does change some things about Runica that uh one. If you have two battle fists to play that you've searched by your ability, you get to use Damayose. They also count towards Karamadama. Those are two things. They're not major things, but they're things. Will somebody try to make a deck with it? Probably. Will it be good? Eh. It'll be cool. The other problem is now they're vulnerable to things like Spinning Fine Necro, sweep. Spine Sweep, uh, yeah. just any any Eldas. Hell, I hell, the, uh, the World of Indians... Uh, uh, infinity symbol card that just flips them down. Yep. And if they get flips down, they are flips down foundations attached to her. <laughs> but you are can't you use them to commit really? to pass checks. But they, if you get stunned, you can commit them. Yep. Or if your opponent plays an effect that says commit destroy a foundation, you could destroy. You could destroy that. Okay. Yep. Um. Yeah. That's the big thing. Uh. Uh, also, we have a street date for Mega Man Battle for Power. That's going to be... I know. August 26th. It's, it, it doesn't seem far. It's far, but it's not it's like... It's far enough. It's far well, enough it's, where there, right. because there's you know there's a few PTCs between here and there. There's no event. There's no world at Gen Con. So it's, it's about the right time. Yep. It'll it's be... Exactly three months. I know, right? Like, like a normal game. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully they can keep it up. Like, if this, this happens by the end of the year, 
Red Horizon 1 and 2 will be gone. Yep. This is a hope. So, this is what... Well, they were already gone. They should... <laughs> yeah. That's... I know. We know. Another day. I know. All right. So the Welcome other thing right. we I've been seeing since this release date uh, has dropped, and I don't know if this has slipped from the community's mind. Okay. Uh, I, I understand that they want spoilers. I don't think they remember that we got how many weeks worth of spoilers for Mega Man Powers of Battle already? Yeah, we have already some seen number of spoilers asking, and 25, 25, all 25 rares. rares. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. We already have like, no, a good chunk of that set. So, yep. I'm wondering if you guys have just forgotten, and if you have... All you got to do is go to ufsultra.com and look at Mega Man Powers for Battle. I honestly don't know how willing they're going to be to spoil more of that set. Um, because they're going to have to spoil it. Yeah. I didn't know you really got All oh, right. I mean, I'm going to. Oh. This is where. Sorry. I pulled up UFS Ultra and distracted a giggles. I'm I mean, sorry. I'm going to say this. I. If. And this is me playing devil's advocate. If they found, if there was guards, i.e., let's say Gyro Man, that we have proved that could not be released in its current state, they had the ability to change that card. Does it suck for the people who have Gyro Mans already? Yes, but I would assume maybe those cards will be replaced as a, as a, as a courtesy. If, like, say they change Tengu Dive. Some way, some way, shape, form. I assume that people who have non-foil, cool-looking Tengu dives would be able to exchange them for the actual correct printing versions that come out. Something like that may need to happen if they decide to change any of these cards. I don't say they will change cards, but I would at least like to see Gyro Man changed. I don't want to see if Gyro Man gets released as is. I'm going to be very unhappy that like people made it aware that this is an issue. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, there's actually, there's less than a third of the set spoiled. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of stuff they can still show us. Yeah, yeah a lot I mean, of commons and uncommons. I mean, the only sometimes those are ultra rares. I mean, the only ultra rare character everybody wants to see is the only one that I guarantee you they're not going to show us. Base? Yeah. Base. Yeah. Uh, I think that what they'll do if they're going to cover that ground is they're just going to show us the, maybe the treble asset because I guarantee you he's going to end up being an asset. Probably like if Rush. It's not that's that the that feels like a missed opportunity. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. the only other route they can go with is if we're all wrong and base is a uh, uncommon rare and or an uncommon well, card, and then they go the since this is up to Mega Man. What are we up to on this one? Mega Man Six. Uh, seven, actually, if they're going seven. Here. So that means they have the potential to make, and this is purely speculative, guys. Uh, oh, right, seven point was introduced. Um, Power Link, uh, Trouble and Base as the Ultra Rare. <laughs> now, I guarantee that's not going to be the case, and Base is just the normal Ultra Rare character yeah. that he is. Well, well, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, they've got... Nothing's been shown. All we have a Base is a card that... I don't even know if it's his ability. It might not oh, even right. be like, it might eight, be actually. It's a one five spam that's a rare. That's all I can tell you. Well, we actually I mean, may actually be seeing the card itself because the character art itself because uh I think um that's kind of what it looks like on the I don't know if I'm saying Oh, the pack that. wrapper. Yeah, the pack mm -hmm. wrapper. I would say that's a pretty good chance that's the artwork. Mm-hmm. For the character card, because that is not a happy looking base, especially with his eyes getting like super bright mm -hmm. red. Yep. I'd like to see the uh, the art from my playmat from Turbo on one of those. The one with uh, Turbo Man suplexing uh, uh, <laughs> base. Go give a muscle buster to base. Yeah. He is dropping <clears throat> the base. There, the joke is made. All right. <laughs> I forget those, those All right, are, now stuff. the next card, the next well thing I want to talk, we want to talk about here, because yeah, champ cards. This <laughs> unexpectedly showed up today. Uh, I thought this was going to be a little bit longer before they released it, but they now have 
a defined exit and entrance for champ cards. Uh, the batch three, uh, the Jazz Square champ cards will be coming out and be legal as of July 1st. Batch two, the group that came out last year, will rotate out in, two, in July 1st, 2017. So they were kind of showing that champ cards are going to get a, an exactly two-year cycle as a good estimate. Um, I think this is a good way. I like it. Uh, it gives them proper time in the format. It gives them, if they're broken, well, we'll find out how quickly they're broken. <laughs> uh, but they get a good, if like, you know, they have said exclusivity has been reduced to three months. At a, is is a is a minimum three months now instead of a minimum six months. Uh, I don't. I think that's fine. I mean, they're giving the drive through thing again. Uh, anyways, I'll be very blatant. If anybody from any of like the eight Atlanta play groups, UK guys, I would love to have copies of your cards. I mean, we all would. <laughs> My birthday's the day after they come out. There's a PTC in Atlanta. I will send money. I will send people with money for these cards, especially the Atlanta ones, because that, that that would also possibly happen. If I can make it, I'll try and pick some up for you guys. Yeah, I would love to just have you know, what of like the car- like at least it, like what's how about let's go let's go through them. Let's take a moment. We got the we got the pictures up, Joe. Uh, pictures are up. Let me go through them. Which one? Please keep in mind that these are in no disconsiderable order. So, first off, we have, uh, do we actually want to go with, Sh- uh, Shen Boomaker, or are we just going with Ben Shoemaker this time around? He's Ben, he's Ben Shoemaker. He is Ben Shoemaker. Yeah. Yes. Why is it a mistake? Why is it a mistake? Oh, okay. The, what do we call it? The Tufus Tron 9000. Two for Tron 9000, I like it. All right, so Ben here is 7-8. He is Air, Fire, and Void. Uh, response, discar- or destroy one foundation. After this attack is... After an attack is played, it gets plus one speed and plus two damage. And then response twice per turn. Uh, discard one card. After an attack deals damage, draw one card. So he's really good off of fire because we have uh, Schechter stuff that... Uh, gets really nice bonuses for destroying foundations. Yep. Like well, to be a ready it time. does, but those are, you gotta remember one thing. Uh, response played, if, responding to an attack being played is not during the enhanced step. Yeah. I've had to go over this. Actually, don't people. work at all. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yep. I mean, there's some cool cards that do interact with him. Uh, the other thing, the cool thing I like about him is his, uh, respondability. Yeah, it's after oh. an, an attack deals damage. So if his attack oh. or your opponent's attack deals, you could just draw a discard. It gives you a dig effect that's, you know, you're a 718. I, I will say one thing about the champ card cycle this time around. They're really good, but they are, a lot of them, especially the ones that are, I see are really, really good, they do not have the dominant three symbols. And I think that's the, how they got balanced, I think. Yeah. But Fire got a lot of support because of Atlanta's, you know, loves fire. So I'm just gonna, we're going to go into this a little bit more as we go through cards because you'll see the Atlanta champ cards as we get through them. Uh, what do we have next? Uh, actually, Matt, you got anything, Dad? Uh, no, I just, I like that cycle effect a lot. And I'm working, I'm thinking about a way to maybe do them off a of void just because I've always just wanted just a tiny bit more damage uh, for my range flashes and whatnot. All right. Um, this time we got partners in crime fighting. Uh, two five plus three low block. It's got uh, all good in order. A static ability of once per turn. If this foundation is committed due to a cost, uh, ready it. And then response after your draw step. If your character is five hand size or less, reveal the top three cards of your deck and replace them in any order. So I actually do have a rules question on this one. Uh, okay. If it's committed due to a cost ready it, if they stun too, and you tap this at, for their... No. No, no. okay. I That's just a fact. That's an effect. That's an effect. That's why I wanted to if ask. The cost would be um, committing foundations to pass a check. 
Like Oots or using like Oots dot beams and hands. Yeah. Which this card's like, really good with Oots dot beam. Oh god. Yeah. Like this is a really cool card. Uh, I like that it has playability, but it also kind of enhances the Jeremy Ray character card. I I, I, I like that idea. Um, I think it's a good. I think it's a solid card. I will definitely want to test it to see if I can play it as even as just the one ability, the the, re, the ready ability, the ability of a card to just go play this attack, pass the check, ready these two cards I committed for to pass the check, like. Oh, I'll that sounds you. solid. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not oh, responses. Yeah. They're not oh, responses shit. either. They're just ready. Oh yes, yeah, Shen's. Yeah, this is a pretty solid card. This is this is deceivedly good. That's what I'll put it at. I think it has I like the symbol spread too. Alright. Next. Has we got anything else? Okay, next up we got is Implacable. Uh two five plus three mid block. Uh Chaos Earth Water. Response command, after your non-throw attack deals damage added to your hand, you, ne- you cannot play attacks for the rest of this turn. Only playable if your character's hand size is less than your opponent's. Printed hand size. But yeah, um, <laughs> card's neat, and it does what I want to do in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a matter of finding a non-throw that I want to use with it and a character with it. I like the effect. It's definitely something to help uh, five-handers because sometimes their problem is that they can't draw enough attacks. So if they can f- find it, but they usually want to play throws. So they're always doing damage. So it's just a matter of finding attack that goes attacks that go well with this that you can yeah. guarantee to hit like lows or whatnot. It's a it's a interesting card. I I don't know. Like, is there certain decks where, if the seven hand size format starts coming back around, I'm playing six hand binders pr- pr- mm-hmm. consistently. I'll play this card. I'll play two X and be like, third on my like last attack of the string, pick it back up, build, and j- gonna say get an additional build. Picking like, up just, pet and cells with this is pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm actually more like sure to play a poke tornado kick. With this, you poke with two attacks, play the tornado kick, pick the tornado kick Ooh. back up every turn, build a little. I'm like a six hand side. Like, like I could see that in certain decks, it could work. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's an interesting card. It probably will find a place somewhere as a champ card with a, as a foundation champ card. Maybe it won't. It, it happens, but it's an inter- it's a cool design. Yeah. All right, what's the next one? Uh, next Joe? up, we got. Oh. I'm I'm trying. I, I'm having to operate oh. multiple windows, <laughs> and making sure I got my space bar held down to talk. Uh, next up, we got Squishy Wizards. Uh, it's uh, two four plus two low block. Uh, all evil and order. Uh, this is a unique asset. Uh, static ability of after this card is discarded, draw one card and discard one card. And then form, add this card to your hand. Your opponent adds one asset to their hand. If you're in desperation, discard one card and your opponent commits one foundation. Word God damn it, Garrett. <laughs> God damn it, Garrett. <laughs> Language. Yeah, but I'm just, that's not that bad. Really? Oh, really? That. Language? What, I can quote Captain America. Relax, Cap. I can understand that reference. <laughs> card's probably good, pretty good. Good play, Joe. Good play. All right. Face. All yeah. right, so this is a, yeah, a like UK a champ card. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this... <sighs> I like this card, but I don't know... How much I like it. That's a qu- that's a thing. I, I I liked it. One, it doesn't have two keywords. That's that that's a that's an auto to me. This card had two keywords or some weird playing effect like how Napkin had. I was like, okay, this card's a little good. But this card has a really cool. The, I like the pitch effect. If you pitch it, 
draw one disc it has its own mini draw one discard. That's a cool fact. Um, I like its F. I like its you know it's it's a pop an asset which that, like it's a good idea. I like the design of that. Uh, I like the idea of you just F pick it up. You're in desperation. Discard this card. Draw a card. Discard a card again, and then you can be able to commit a foundation. I mean, you trigger a lot of effects for digging, and I could see this in order, Kim. Immediately, oh. all order Kim needed was more ways to draw cards. If that cards back to your hand, here you go. Yeah, oh, just... God. <laughs> just yeah. saying. It's cool card, though. I, I think the goal was to make this card confusing enough to get it passed. I don't think it's too confusing. I think it's like, yes, it does have some extra text boxes, though. It's like, I don't know what. There's something here that I'm missing, and I'm gonna yeah, find. There's out. no obvious win button on the card. Yeah, but that's a Garrett card for you. Yeah, it doesn't matter that he won this with three other with two other people. It's a Garrett card. <laughs> All right, I think we got to talk about Giggles' card next. Am I right? All I got to say about this card is it's still not as complicated as billiard player, so we're okay. All right. I like it. Billiard players, the card where you move one card from one zone, another card to another zone. Oh, God, I forgot about that card. Right. All right. Like I said, these are in no disconcerting order. So this time we got Garrett Brett Two Dot. You were going going in reverse order. Now you just jumped all over the place. No, I said at the very beginning, this is in no disconcerting order. This is how my computer. Those first few, though. Yeah, you went from you went like from one to ten to nine to eight to seven. This is how I downloaded it, and this is how the drop and drag work from the oh, no, I yeah, downloaded I'm my just, folder. Uh, so this is the seven seventeen Garrett, who has Earth Evil and Life, uh, E twice per turn, lose one vitality. Your attack gets plus three damage. Uh, R twice per turn. After you lose a vitality, gain a vitality. Let us not lie. He's actually like twenty three vitality because of that response. Yeah, um, I think this is the best character. Card. I mean, essentially, his E is just twice per turn gives something plus three damage because he just R's. Yeah, but he also could do some crazy things with like the uh, Tibigami support that's out there right now that has uses a lot of pay lifes. Um, the Iori two dot support. Like, think about the Yori 2 dot that has that one foundation that's like pay a life plus one speed, respond, commit a foundation, gain one. Oh, he now we have. He was like, you can literally manipulate a really good. Like, this is. De- I will say one thing. If Garrett plays this da- this character off of any off of symbol that is not life, I will be very happy to see what he comes up with. I would love to see it in a big tournament. Yeah, if he life, plays this with it's... life. He's just abusing the life symbol because that's how good it is. Yeah, like uh, evil mature. You can play this with the. Uh, yeah. You can play this with Patriot Stamps <laughs> and all the life DR stuff. Yeah. You like D, you DR it down. All right. Take three. Respond with this. Respond with Patriot Stamps. All right. I took one. Yeah. Corey says we should be paying attention to this card. Uh, this card with arachnophobia. Yeah. Oh god. It's the 4-4 four, four that you response commit. After you gain life, you reveal the top card. If it's an attack, you add it to your hand. Oh dear god! And the card, you draw a card on top of that. Yeah, and then you, you add the attack to your hand and draw one. Wait, you if you, you reveal... If, if you, you reveal attack, attack, you add the attack to your hand, then draw a card. And then draw a card? Yeah, it's a 4-4. Yeah, four, four. Well, I know it's a 4-4, four, four, but geez, I mean, the fact that he's got... The... Yeah, I know. Portal Barrier is also pretty good. Yeah, Trust me, this is, a deceptive, good. this is a deceptively good card. Like, this is the character... Everybody says, like, Garrett Price come has de- deceptively good characters. Like, it took a while for outside of him to figure out how to play his own character. And now, like, you look at these cards and it's like, this one just blatantly pops out at me. I just um, want to know why Simon Pegg is on his mantle. Uh, it's supposed to be his other character card. No, no, I remember that, but if you remember... If you look at that art, it looks like uh, Simon Pegg when he was in Sh- when he was in Shaun of the Dead. 
I guess, yeah. I guess. If you look I, at that card art, same... he looks like son, Sean from Shaun of the Dead in that art. Mm. All right, which one's next? We have a Dave. Ooh. So this Black. is Mr. Wagner, yeah. who is a 719 Death Evil Fire. Enhance your attack. It's plus one speed and plus one damage. Then form once per turn. Reveal a Death Evil or Fire asset from your hand. If there are no copies of that asset in your staging area, add it to your staging area. So, Dave, I'm upset by one thing. If you, like, change the jacket color and hair color, you're almost exactly the art for what I wanted to do because I want to be myself as my uh, D&D character. <laughs> you this, nerd. This, what? <laughs> but, like, <laughs> this art is awesome. It please, is. Please give it to me. I, I, or, I, just, I love the card. What, do you want him to sign the rights of the art over to you? No. <laughs> It's just it's awesome in every way. I like the free plus one plus one. Oh god, yes. I like the F to put in a free asset, especially with some certain assets that we got. That it may or may not be intentional to put them right in. Uh Dave Dave said that he intentionally took your di- idea from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my D D character, he one shots bosses. Yeah, but didn't you one shot that one guy with just randomly yeah. just like yeah one shot? <laughs> he also says yeah. the full artwork of this has a giant Ooh. lion made of electricity, uh, but could not fit it in it. Which I actually These... can see part of the uh, lion in the background. Yeah, please yeah. post that full art when you can. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. But overall. Very fun card. Yeah. Yep. This is my favorite champ card. I think you could do a lot of cool. Like, it has that fire aggressiveness, that fire evil aggressiveness has been missing, I think, since we lost Gemini Man, especially for yeah. evil. And But I like the idea of just sneaking cards into play. That, that fire attack lineup that I said was looking for a character who could add free speed and damage. Oh. <laughs> I think we just found the character to put that back in. Yeah. I mean, I just love the thought of just giving anything. All right, one. which one's next? So I got to ask Dave, how many whoopers are we planning to put in your deck to put into the game for free? We can. Ooh. He can put whoopers in. Whooper has death or evil. He, oh, evil. evil. <laughs> 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 well, I will finally. be doing this. I will be doing this. Are you just gonna look all the? I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this after the show. While we wait for Ben to come back. Okay. So by Let's zero, go. you mean all four? Got it. <laughs> all right. We have something called Rochester. Something. Something. I'm not sure. We we hold no allegiance to these people and. I, Quite frankly, we don't ever Rochester see these double people. CG. <laughs> oh, look, there I am. Yes. Giggles. So, that, that face. I mean, you are almost more or less front and center on this card because, well, if it wasn't for you, this card wouldn't exist. Isn't <laughs> that true? Well, at least me and Ryan feel I, I know uh, at least. Well, at least Sean, we're, I know Sean was event. in the middle of like warming up. During his game, like Sean didn't get out of game one of that finals, to my understanding. Uh, well, was like, he, yeah, one of the finals matches. Yeah, he was. Uh, uh, it was just like he they didn't get out of game one. It's like we you turn him like we're done, we finished. This is over. Giggles got there. Giggles beat Garrett Bratt to get this card. Oh yep. yeah, I did. Oh yeah. Okay, so That's... this is a two for five, no block. Uh, death, life, and void. It's unique. Static ability of after this asset is destroyed, discard one of your opponent's momentum, and then response, destroy. After your opponent plays a card as a block, seal it. Your attack gets safe until the end of the turn. So, people want to know this, because they're probably going to ask. One, with the static ability, the person who owns the roster, who has the roster CCG and blows it up, 
uh, they choose the uh, momentum that gets discarded, not the opponent. Yep. Good one thing to know. Second, oh, yeah. this seals ever hopeful. Yep. That is the that is the main thing you want to understand about this card. It beats ever hopeful. That was the Sealed design plan. Hopeful. Did we actually make it so they could work that way? Yes. Yeah, this is after they play a card as a block. Oh, okay. Not after they, they had to they find the proper wording. Ah, uh, okay. You got to get the wording so we turn yep. off the ever hopeful, right? Yep. And also, they can't reverse you with the Navos. Hey, that that was one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Freaking hate Navos. So, this I could be a pretty hot it. item for a while. Yeah. Which I'm sure will be on Rochester CCG. Oh, he gets them. also, this beats Omniblocks. Yes! That was the other one I forgot about. I am sorry. Yes, yeah, stops Templar Omniblocks. Uh... Well, it stops Templar because it's ahead of it. It, it yeah. might cause short fuse. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Right, 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 but right. this beats Omniblocks. This has been ruled. This is currently ruled as it beats Omni Blocks. Okay. Yeah. So this card actually does a lot, and so I hope that people when people start playing it, like, like uh, it will obviously it doesn't beat cards that like you know it doesn't beat like you know absurd things, but like this card's really cool, and people should be, will be realize it's it's really cool as they play more with it. Yeah, that was my one of my hopes was that our card would actually be playable. That would see play. It would end up Just, being some of those other cards that I've seen in the past, where it's like, "Hey, really interesting card," but then just sits in people's binders and stuff. Mm. Like, uh, <laughs> my lady gives an option. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh. All right. What's up next, Joe? Yep. Drew Maffei, lion buddy. For making that joke. <sighs> okay, so this is a 3 4 plus 2 high block, all fire void, uh, with ally and unique. Uh, form once per turn, commit, discard one card, discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard an attack card, add the discarded attack to your hand. With and you know, I'm only gonna read the quote for this because of the situation was hilarious. Seriously, Ben, I guess it's up to me. I uh, I like treasure cruise for an attack every turn. I love attacks, so yeah, it's got my vote. This this card's great. I mean, I will love this card more when I I love this card on the how you can play it with Dave Wagner. And you could protect it. So you're like, I need this turn. I'm like, you're just holding your hand as a block, possibly. And you're like, all right, this is the turn I need this. Play this. Oh, Activate God, it. Man. Discard a, discard this foundation. Search for an attack. Like, turn a foundation and do an attack. I have now four attacks to kill you with. Like, it's just also... Because it has that form commit to discard and the high block, it makes it so you can always run four of this. Without feeling bad, because if you draw an additional one, you just p immediately pitch it to the F. Yeah. You can or use you have it for block. a block, or oh, you... Yeah. yeah, there's just ways you can work with it. And if you're in a pinch, it has two keywords for rain flush. Yeah! <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Because I can never not talk about that card. I like the card. It's always, it's always lo I always love momentums that can somehow pay for themselves. Uh, <laughs> Also, uh, Rio Gopal said earlier in the day, uh, using Merciless Master with this, to take a card that already hit and uh, put on top of your deck, <gasps> and do the F and immediately get it. Wait, which one's Merciless Master again? Um, it's E, Put take a card from your momentum, put it on top of your deck. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's just another cycle effect to, like... Another effect that you can use to get it to happen, to get cards from it. That's kind of cool. I mean, I I like Merciless Master. I like to. I know Drew Buffet is a big fan of the Geyser decks, so why not give Drew, why not give the Geyser deck a little love? Yeah, awesome card. Yep. Next one. Okay, it is this button. Sorry. We have Garbrett three, three dot. 
Uh, this is his also a 717 Chaos Fire Void. Uh, e, once per turn, commit one card in your staging area. Your non-throw attack gets plus three speed and powerful three. And then R, twice per turn, after you commit a card, your next check gets plus one, playable, playable while committed. Pretty good. You want fire aggro to be good. Well, guess what? We have Garrett Pratt making fire aggro good. Or chaos aggro. Or void aggro. Why not? You know what I realized? Isn't the way that, that uh, diversity works now, Garrett, two people playing Garrett Yes, Bretts. we can have two different Garrett Bretts in the top eight. So I if Garrett Bretts shows that... up with Garrett Brett two dot, you could play Garrett Brett three dot, and we could have the Garrett Brett the Garrett Brett match off for the finals. I was really hoping that four and five dot were going to come out with this, so that way top eight could literally. Had, I thought he only had four dots. Nope. When did Remember, he, he got dot? he won worlds. He won back technically back to back worlds because he won Gen Con backpack. and he won at yeah. Vegas this year. Last year, like earlier this year, like you know, back oh, at okay. uh, yeah, both of these at, are UKs. Yeah, well, he's I know at the worlds with the, you. Yeah, and then what was the other one? Doesn't he have another one too? Because he has UK from 2015. Does he? he yeah, he, he won UK. He won with Skullman. Oh, he played, he played okay. Skullman. He didn't win teams this year at the UK. The re, the the Gopal brothers and their their teammate won this year. Uh, UK, like I really think some people have to travel over there there at the, this year for the UK, and you know stop Garrett Brett from to just auto winning champ cards. Who's with me? Send the Come Kevin. on, Jeffrey. I know you want to do it. Uh, I would really like to see 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 that 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 part of the world. Yes, It'd be fun. I have a and I have if an. You win, if you win, let's say we go to um, Amsterdam. You win Amsterdam. You got six hundred dollars towards the plane ticket. I know Southwest will somehow get you to, to the UK. <laughs> somehow we will use Southwest Airlines or one of their other parent airlines to get to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that that actually be a cool idea. Actually, all right, we'll do it. <laughs> I'll continue building your decks to make it happen. Okay. All right, we got one more. Uh, I think you're on the wrong link now. Oh, we, got, one. we got Admiral Tuvis von McChompington. <laughs> I'm assuming <laughs> best named card it, it, ever. I'm assuming this has to do with Ben Shoemaker. Well, yes, it's, it's a cap a, one. It's a it's yes. the Maxima Laser reference on the yeah. art. Oh, duh! Yeah. Of course. Well, well, my thought it, was it's, that's it's his mascot. Doing, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Tuvis doing, doing Maxima mascot. Laser, which is uh, actually the Cam Newton thing. He did a few years ago. All right, so this is a 2-5, no block, death fire void, ally ranged and unique. Uh, response commit. Uh, after an attack is played, it gets plus 2 speed or minus 2 speed. Spe steal one of your opponent's foundations. I am going to say I really, really like this in Void Bishamon. Yeah. <laughs> because First, this with Karame Dama... That's, it uh, does a lot. It does a lot yeah, of work. It does a lot uh, of work. It's perfect accuracy every turn, and free speed reduction. Yeah, like this is an awesome defensive piece, and it's unique. Which, yep, that's what matters. That's that's yep. what I will say to anything. It it's unique. Yep. So you play four of it, and you discard your additional copies to Dream of Fay. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing it. God damn it, show up. I you will play say, all yeah, of that's right. Wait, that's right. You can just, how about you just play Void? I mean, yes. all these cards have all the symbols. Yes. Oh. Yes. That's what I'm doing. All my Void stuff that I got rid of, why I'm going to get back. Why is my phone vibrating? Oh. Probably because Ben wants a bad come over. Oh, you're right. It is Ben. All right. <laughs> I thought it was maybe so, Sean. All right, let's watching. focus on this. That's right. I thought it was yeah. some Awesome cards. Like awesome. I can't wait uh, to see those cards. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm doing one of them, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we're at the... I think we're kind of close to the cutoff here, so let's do a quick rundown. Uh, next up on the... Oh, well, we have... Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Joe, you have your comic books. What's... 
<laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah, we got comic books to look at because I'm reading comic books, meaning you people should be reading comic books. Because it's fun and actually because stuff has gotten really good again. So, recommendation for this week, Superman Rebirth. Uh, believe it or not, I have not read a Superman book since his death book. Way, way back in the days of the mullet. So do you, he's still dead. <laughs> no, he's actually back alive in this one, thank God. Uh, they actually managed to make him more relatable. Uh, he's uh, taking over for the New 52 Superman, which literally went poof into a little what? dust cloud at the end of this comic. And it's Clark, his son John, which we met in Convergence, who will be getting his own comic later on down the road. Uh, and yep. Lois in this new world. So, they did a good job if they got me reading Superman again. Uh, incidentally, uh, which was sheer coincidence, is they actually posted in the book his fight with Doomsday. So we have an updated, uh, really nice look at the Doomsday fight with all the nice upgrades to technology, like color correction and digital artwork. Really, really good. Highly recommend it. Uh, the companion piece this week is Action Comics 957, where he has to deal with this world's Luther, uh, being the new, trying to be the new Superman of the world while this one's still out and about. So, highly recommend that. And then for tradebacks, we got Booster Gold. <laughs> because. Booster Gold. Oh no, I, I actually wow. and I love Booster Gold because this is written by uh, Keith Giffen and J.M. Diamatis. They do uh, Justice League Unlimited, which is one of my favorite Justice League teams. Mm -hmm. They were kind of the pseudo real world of the Justice League. Um, this one actually is kind of a fallout where uh, Booster is still trying to find a way to get... Uh, Ted Cord, the Blue Beetle, back to life, even though he kind of came and reconciled with uh, Ted's death and the adventures of Blue and Gold and Blackest Night. Um, this has just some really good work in it. You get to see what happens when you cross a virgin sorceress. Apparently you end up as a chipmunk. <laughs> um, I just haven't been having a whole lot of fun with uh, the, all the Demodest De Giffen stuff. The Booster Gold, like I said, very, very good stuff. Good reading. JLI, go read it. Uh, this week we also got uh, Flash, and we'll be covering that next week, along with the Titans novel, or the new Titans book, which may be the book that moves the proper story, for, the main story for the new universe forward. Good stuff. Go read. Reading is important, people. All right. Stunned we're a little bit over silence. at this point. Well, we already knew we were right. going to be over in this. I thought I it was going to be like an hour and a half show, honestly. Oh, no. Um, I've got I, think it's time, I think it's yeah. time for the rundown. Uh, okay. So, coming events. We have, at the end of the month of June, we have the Reddings California PTC. I don't believe any of us are going to that. I don't think, think so. so. Who knows? Maybe a Kevin Brober. Maybe a Miles Tyler will show up. You never know. Uh, after that is the Atlanta PTC. I wish I was going for, to that. Because, well, I want jam cards. And I want to play a fun deck that I've created. But They work. They works. Meaning my job refused my PTO. Whatever. Yeah, them. Uh, so, after that, we have a like, fairly good, almost a month of no PTCs. Because, well, we have Gen Con, but we're not, no events at Gen Con. So... We have the post Gen Con Amsterdam PTC, which is August 27th. 27th. Yep. The day after Battle for Power. And Battle, Battle for, for Power Power's will legal. be legal. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're shredding the night before. Oh, my God. Well, we're going to get our product at the pre release two weeks a week before. Or two weeks before. I mean, he may so not get all of his boxes. I've got five boxes coming to me. Oh, yeah. You, probably, you have a pot. You have like. Back. Oh yeah, Sean owes us a pile of backload from con work for a while. <laughs> con work and the 2K, the, his first 2K. Yeah, I'm owed one. I'm owed one box. 
That's it. I'm only owed one box right now. And I've already... I have store credit to take care of, too, and I'm going to buy one directly from Millennium Games because I support my local stores because I yep. think they would be happy to buy it for buy something from Sean and then I pay for, pay for it. Right. Just a thought. And then after that, we have the Michigan BTC, and then I think maybe we, we have this rumblings of a mid-October uh, national U.S. Nationals. I have no clue. We have no confirmation. Please be patient. Once we have that information confirmed, we will be announcing it, obviously, as always, I told Justice Gaming on our Facebook page. Anything else? No, uh, I'll probably sit down and we'll, at some point, we need to give our thoughts on this Injustice thing and the Tekken thing, but we can save that for next one. Plus, we got some KOF team videos we got to go over. But we got to do that and hang out because that's easier. I, right? Yeah, go. we'll do that next week. I think that's. I, th- I don't expect any gigantic announcements next week, and we'll be able to talk about it. Yep. All right, All right everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.